Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best computer. Starting at number 5. Lenovo Legion Tower. There aren't a lot of configurations of the Lenovo Legion Tower 5i available, and not all of its configurations are available in one place. For example, in the US, you can only get our review unit at Best Buy, at least at the time of writing. However, it is worth seeking out, especially if you're looking for something affordable as your gaming PC. This mid-range option offers great 1080p performance at an affordable price. It proved to be a surprisingly solid performer during testing, hitting over 70 frames per second on ultra settings when we played Cyberpunk 2077, pretty impressive considering that's a demanding title, and delivering great results when we ran Far Cry 6 and Gotham Knights on high settings. Of course, being a mid-range gaming PC, it does have its limitations. Both Control and Hogwarts Legacy struggled a little on max settings. After all, our review model, which is your best bet if you don't want to spend a lot, only had an RTX 3060. Coming at number 4. Apple iMac 24. Apple's signature all-in-one computer might have skipped over the M2 chip generation, but last year's M3 model offers an excellent straight upgrade from the 2021 M1 version. Performance is incredible for an AIO system, firmly cementing this as the best all-in-one computer on the market. The 24-inch 4.5K display is unchanged from the M1 model and remains absolutely gorgeous, offering colors that pop and good maximum brightness plus a high-quality 1080p webcam. Despite its powerful internals, the whole system is surprisingly light and compact, making this perfect for anyone with limited desk space. The variety of colorways is a nice inclusion too, letting you customize the aesthetic of your workspace. The only downsides here are primarily holdovers from the 2021 iteration, somewhat limited port selection and annoying design choices with the peripherals, why does the magic mouse charge from the bottom, Apple, remain an issue. 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage in the base version is also a bit low for our liking though these are minor complaints against an otherwise nearly perfect system. At Number 3 Apple Mac Mini If you didn't think the Mac Mini could get any better, then think again. The Mac Mini, 2023, is by far the best mini PC you can buy right now, with Apple improving the smallest Mac in every way that matters. While it's still not upgradable, it's more powerful than ever, powered by the new M2 and M2 Pro chips. We performed similar tests on the Mac Mini as we did on the MacBook Pro 16-inch, 2023, and it performed brilliantly, seeing us through editing 8K movie files and making projects in Ableton Live 11 without a sweat. It's also touting a cheaper price, or, at least a price of entry, which makes it accessible to more people, especially those with smaller setups. What's more, its body is ever so slightly thinner so you can slip easily slip it in your backpack to take to the office or while traveling. If you're looking for a compact PC to sit unobtrusively on your desk, in a studio, or even under a TV, this is an excellent choice even die-hard Windows users may be tempted. Number 2 of my list Acer Aspire TC We have yet to fully review the Acer Aspire TC. But we can already assure you that it's guaranteed to give you the best price to performance ratio if you're looking to save money on your next PC or if you only need something to browse, send out emails, do homework, and stream on. The graphics options on this aren't the most exciting, but overall, the available specs should see you through everyday workloads and maybe some light gaming. What's more, there are more than enough ports on it for most people including two HDMI ports that will let you hook up two monitors, if you so choose. The design could indeed be better. It's not in any way ugly, but it is a bit of a plain Jane, which shouldn't matter if you're more concerned about functionality rather than form. The one thing that could be a bit of a turnoff is it's cooling those fans tend to get loud when the hardware is pushed to the limit. And number one. Dell XPS Desktop. We called the Dell XPS Desktop 8960, a formidable gaming PC dressed as an office cog for good reason. Though the XPS line isn't exactly marketed by Dell as gaming hardware, 
It's had a massive boost in specs in the last few years so that, at its highest configurations, it's a worthy opponent to the most kid-out gaming and content creation PCs. And it does that without shedding its office attire, which in our opinion is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, that minimalist design allows it to fit right in, in just about any setting. On the other, it's become bland, boring, and a bit archaic at this point. When it comes to performance, however, there's nothing archaic about this new generation. Of course, if you just need something for office work, the lower configurations, which are much more affordable, should serve you well. But if you want something for gaming and content creation, the highest configurations prove to be capable of handling just about any workload, no matter how intensive. Running it through our suite of benchmarks, it managed to keep up with the more powerful RTX 4090-powered Alienware Aurora R15 at 1080p, and go neck and neck with the Lenovo Legion Tower 7i in both 1080p and 4K gaming. On top of that, it comes stays impressively cool and quiet under pressure. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.